Hi, I'm Terry McFeely. I am a total fabric DIYer. Today we are going to be making these wonderful little fairy wings that I have on. The pattern comes in multiple sizes and we are going to be making these adorable little toddler wings. And don't forget that these fairy wings are not only great for costuming, they're great for fulfilling the inner fairy in you. To get started, we are going to first cut away some of the fabric and save it for the shoulder straps. The shoulder straps are not going to be treated fabric, but the rest of the fabric we're going to treat. We're going to treat it with a liquid fabric stabilizer, which is quite easy to do. We're just going to take the fabric and we're going to spray it very well on both sides. And then I like to fold it and kind of scrunch it together to distribute the stabilizer evenly. And then once we're sure that it's completely wet, we're going to line dry for 15 to 20 minutes until it's damp. And then we're going to finish drying it with our iron. Once dry, it's like almost a paper sheet. Yet you can still sew and press and do everything with it you could with regular fabric. And it's safe for all your machines. My little wings here are cut on the fold. And since we need two of each of the pattern pieces, I have doubled the folded fabric so that all can be cut out at one time and the stabilized fabric actually makes this step a snap. So after we've cut, don't forget to mark with a marking pin all the little marks for the casings and the shoulder straps. Since these wings are cut on a curve, we're going to pin the sections together, easing in the curve. Once we have sewn both sections together, we're going to press the seams down. We're going to do two of these sections, and then we're going to pin them together and in the event you have any excess fabric, you're able to just trim it away. And notice on this side, I have double pins. These double pins are reminding me that I have little marks here for the openings for the wire casings. So we're going to sit down and we're going to stitch these together. We're going to be pinning the sections together by aligning both sides front and back and then we're going to change the foot to an edge foot where we can stitch in the ditch. This is an amazing foot for this. So now once we've had the stitching, we're going to complete the casings by starting in the upper left corner and we're going to stitch a quarter inch away from the edge stitch all the way to the other side and we're going to back tack. Where we have previously stitched in the ditch, we're going to go a quarter inch above that starting at the casing end and go all the way along and back tack into the edge stitching on the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same on this seam and then the bottom seam again a quarter inch above the edge stitch. Before we add the wire, we're going to pin on the prepared straps. This is a half inch elastic and I made a casing out of the untreated fabric. So we are going to go and we're going to pin these on matching the dots that we already placed. We're going to do this on both sides and then we're going to stitch back and forth several times on top of the elastic, being careful not to stitch into the casing. Now, now that we have our straps secured, we're going to be using 12 gauge electrical wire. You can get this at a hardware store. It's very easy to use and to cut. I just use my wire cutters. And I've already placed, cut and placed the first three wires in the wings. We are now going to take the fourth wire and watch as I insert it into the casing, threading it through all the curves, 
all the way through. You may have to bend it a bit at the end here to get it to go all the way through. And then we're going to bend the wire to match the casing curves. Isn't that nice, the way it just does what we want it to do? And it's pretty stiff. And so once we're satisfied with how it looks, we're going to close the seam up with a straight stitch. I have already prepared or glued with the low heat hot glue the fabric onto cardboard and this is the back stay piece. We are now going to take, before we take the glue, <laughs> we're going to mark where the glue is going to go directly onto the fabric. So we are going to just take our marker, mark the edges, remove this, so we have an outline of where we want to put our glue. And then we're going to quickly put the glue around the edges, a little in the center. We're going to place the stay, and we're going to press down. We're going to check the edges after it's dry, and if they pull away, we're going to add more glue. These look pretty secure, so I'm going to flip this over. And then we're just going to bend the wings out a bit, as much or as little as you want. And there you have it. Your wings are ready for flight. Thanks for watching.